So those who remain steadfast and they do what Allah has commanded them to do and they look to how the Prophet ﷺ did what he did, then Subhanallah. Then tatanazzalu alayhimul malaika. Then angels descend upon them and the angels comfort them. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu. You are leaving this world and you are going on a long uh, non-return journey. Uh, that is a journey which everybody has to embark upon and nobody has ever come back. We go on journeys here but even before we go we would like to we would like to confirm our res return reservation. Going to Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Somalia, wherever you go, date of departure, date of return. Uh, but this is one journey you are going and never ever coming back. Uh, so many times when people have, they're going somewhere they haven't been, obviously they feel afraid. What will happen? What's there? But the angels they say, don't you be afraid of anything. You've done well. Uh, we are taking you. Ya uh, nafsul mutma'inna, you're a good person, a good soul. Irji'i ila rabbik. Let us take you back to our Lord. Irji'i ila rabbik iradiyatam mardiya. Uh, you be happy, don't worry about anything and you must be happy and Allah is happy with you. You have pleased Allah and Allah will please you. Come, let us take you. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu. You are going, leaving behind family and so many friends. Sometimes when you're going abroad, you know, you, you might be afraid of what will happen there, what awaits you there. But at the same time, you are worried about what you're leaving behind. Your children, your wife, whatever is there, you are worried what might happen to them. The angels say, don't, fi don't be afraid of what awaits you and don't be worried about what you're leaving behind. Because where you are going is much better than here and Allah is your Lord. And because you've done well, Allah will protect and take care of the matters behind as well. Don't worry. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu abshiru bil jannah. And we are taking you to jannah. We're not taking you to any no man's land, a land full of danger and whatever. No, we are taking you to such wonderful gardens. Come, come with us. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu wa abshiru bil jannati allati kuntum tu'adun. Nahnu awliya'ukum. We are your friends. We used to be your friends in dunya as well. You couldn't see us then, but you see us now. And we'll be with you. We'll be with you all the way. We'll take your soul back to Allah. When people will bury you in your grave, they will play janazah, pray janazah over you and bury you. Don't worry. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, don't think that the grave is a pit of sand. It's either a garden from the gardens of Jannah or a, di or a dungeon from the dungeons of Jahannam. Uh, when a good man is placed, Allahu Akbar, in there, then mashallah, the grave spreads out, opens out. And before that, when the angels, when they take away the soul of good people, uh, when the angels come and they take away the soul of good people, يَقُولُونَ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ They salute them. They welcome them and سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ أُدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Let us take you to Jannah. And it is narrated that when such the soul of a good person is about to be taken out, the angels, what they do as well as talking to this person softly, politely, nicely, because they know, the angels know this man is a good man, is a friend of Allah, Allah likes him and Allah loves him because he's done well. So they don't want to do anything to upset him. If they upset him, then Allah will be upset with them. So they treat this person so nicely, politely and taking care of all his comfort and they open and they open a view into Jannah from where he can see the palaces which await him, uh, the wives, whores which await him. And just as you know, when you see something nice and you can't wait, you want to go and then the soul it becomes anxious to leave and mashallah the angels they swiftly take away the soul